Hello, welcome to the Bluebeam tutorial. We're going to talk about how to use the count measurement function. So this can be located on your toolbar on the right hand side, which is the one, two, three symbol, or in your measurement tab, in your top toolbar. So we're going to use the example of measuring manholes using the count function. And one of the problems with the count function is that you can't undertake multiple measurements and individually reference them. So for example, if I wanted to use the count function to show that manhole S04 and S05 has been completed in the same day, this is the issue that I'd have. So I go to my count function and I go to my subject and type in surface water, surface water manhole. In my label, I want to reference the manhole. So I'm going to do SO4 first, SO4 backslash on the day that it was completed, 28th of the 7th dot 20. I'll reference my depth if I know the depth, for example, two meters. In my properties, I'll select blue for stormwater. We'll have the tick mark and show caption. And I'll hover my mouse cursor over the manhole and left click and it'll produce a tick mark to show that's been complete. If I then wanted to do SO5 and I went back and changed my label to SO5 on the same date, change my depth, properties are the same and then click over that manhole and it produces a tick. <clears throat> when I come out of that, as you can see, the label reference will be SO5 for both manholes and I can't individually reference them. In my table at the bottom of the screen, it will just show me count of two, so they won't be split up individually. You can get over this by highlighting the text in the table at the bottom, right clicking and split all. As you can see, that's individually split each manhole, but they're both still referenced, SO5. You could then change the description. Then your label, that's one way to get round it. Or the other way is to simply Push my count function, stormwater manhole, SO4, the date, the depth, set my properties, color, tick, and then right click out of it, and then just repeat the same for SO5, change the label reference. The properties will have saved to your last settings. And as you can see, they're split individually and referenced individually. 